I've come to the Amazon to find out if piranhas are the bloodthirsty killers of myth, or if the truth is a little more complicated. I've managed to unearth a newspaper report from the 1970s that describes the exact bus crash that I remember where some of the passengers were eaten by piranhas. It reports that on the 14th of November 1976, the bus was travelling from Manaus to the town of Itacoatiara, a journey of about five hours. After driving through the night, it crashed into a tributary of the Amazon, killing 39 passengers. The newspaper also mentions the name of a survivor, Dirceo Araujo. I've managed to track him down to find out what he can remember from that fateful day, as this might allow me to pass judgment on the guilt or otherwise of the piranha. Okay, so... Dirceo tells me he was sitting at the very rear of the bus, and like the rest of the passengers, he had been sleeping for most of the journey. On board that day were several families, a couple of students named Alex and Ivan, as well as many other men and women returning to their homes in Itacoatiara. Not long before the accident, the bus went through a pothole, waking Dirceo up. This, he tells me, could well have saved his life. This is the very spot where the accident happened. The bus came down here, went in the river down there. Dirceo doesn't know if the brakes failed or if the bus skidded, but the driver had done the same route several times that day. The papers at the time reported the suggestion that he fell asleep and at the ferry crossing carried straight on into the river. One minute everything's normal, but, you know, literally the next moment it, it, it's in the water. There were people crying, wailing, much despair. Aí foi que eu que eu fui no corredor, tá todo mundo lá querendo sair para para naquela naquela corda. There were people at the front trying to open the door by pulling it, and he's basically saying that, you know, that, that door only opens if you push. Then the water, the water started to come in, at which point he went back to where he'd been seated. There was a boy there who'd been trying to break the window and he actually saw, saw this boy's foot you know, disappearing out of the bus and he saw the foot, followed it and managed to get himself out through the same hole. He's just about clear of the bus. Somebody grabbed hold of his leg. Can you imagine? Somebody is, is trying to grab hold of his leg while he is trying to escape and get to the surface. Actually had to kick this person's hand off to get free from the bus and actually, you know, escape from the wreck. 39 people remained trapped on the bus and didn't survive. In the panic of his escape, Dirceo doesn't remember seeing any piranhas. So no one knows how long it was after the bus submerged that the piranhas attacked.